So from saying that, this uh, brings me to my next topic. So I'm going to read a verse from Matthews 7 verse 31. And the reading goes like this. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or whether shall we be clothed? So what the back what the scripture is trying to say here is that don't think about what you're gonna drink, what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna wear. You know what I'm trying to say? Because these are just worldly things. You are you are a soul. You were a soul before you were a body. So we need to think like we are a soul. Because at the end of the day, we can't really see ourselves unless we look in the mirror. We can only see other things. So what's really seen is the eyes that sees, but the eyes see through the soul. It's what well, is the soul seen through the eyes. We can't see ourselves. Only other beings can see us. You know what I'm trying to say? So it says, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or whether shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So God knows we need these things. Like, he put us in this world so he knows we need to be clothed we need to we need to we need to eat we need to drink you know what i'm trying to say he knows these things but when god said the gentiles he's saying that it's the worldly people that seek these things if you're just living through flesh if you're just living through flesh This means you are a Gentile. You know what I'm trying to say? Only the Gentile sees these things. But God, the Heavenly Father, knows that ye have need of all these things. He knows we need these things. This is why we don't need to worry about it. Because once you start worrying about it, that creates depression. That creates anxiety. That creates less motivation. It can even create death. It can create death in the physical body and it can create death in the mind. Worrying. I can say worrying is like a sin because worrying means you don't trust God or you don't trust yourself so continuing but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so what I'm trying to say is seek or what this chapter is trying to say is seek God seek God seek God in yourself first because really and truly, we don't really need all these things. What you wear doesn't make you. What you drive don't make you. How much money you have in your pocket or in your bank account don't make you. You have to go back to the creator because the creator made you. So if you go back to the creator, that's when you start making yourself. We all talk about being reborn or being born again. We're meant to be born again every single day in God. Being born again is not a thing where like, oh, you, you go, well, from Christianity point of view, you go, you, you get put in your face in the water and then you're born again. And then, you know what I'm trying to say? But being born again is that action. It's righteousness. It's praying. It's eating good food. Not eating processed food. Not eating man-made food. Not eating GMO type food. 
eating fruits, eating vegetables, eating grains, herbs, fasting, working out, moving your body. You don't have to be the biggest. <laughs> All you got to do is be healthy. Because at the end of the day, that's also righteousness. And your health is your foundation. Because once you have that health, healthy lifestyle and eating the right foods, and you're not overeating as well, and you're fasting, you're taking care of the temple of God. This is the temple of God. This is the temple of God. So taking care of the body is the first thing to get through salvation or to get righteousness so seeking God by also praying meditating every day finding ways to know God finding ways to know yourself you now I'm trying to say so but it's I'm going to read that part again so but seek ye first the kingdom of God so what is the kingdom of God the kingdom of God like it says is righteousness and the kingdom of God is in here. The kingdom of God is a force. The kingdom, kingdom of the devil is a force. We create that reality for ourselves by the actions we make. Like I said in the start of the video, no one can save you. Jesus is not coming back to save you. Jesus, you are Jesus and you are God. You are the action of Jesus made in God's image. So only you can save you. You know what I'm trying to say? But take therefore no thought for, for the morrow. The morrow means for tomorrow. For the morrow shall take thought for things of itself. So what I just get from this verse is like, we shouldn't worry about anything we shouldn't worry about anything in this life because like I said worrying just means you do not trust God and worrying means you do not believe in God even if you're skin even if you have no money I'm sure we've all been there where we have we had no money and if you're thinking you have you, I don't know if I, maybe you got some rich ass family, but <laughs> we've all been there. We're skin. But you shouldn't worry about that. You should worry about seeking God. Because once you seek God, everything will align itself. I'm not saying if you're skin, don't look for a job or don't work or, you know what I'm trying to say. But having that righteous mindset anyway will make you do these things anyway. Because some people, they might have like the only £20 left and they want to buy weed. The only £20 they got, they want to buy weed. You know what I'm trying to say? And then they'll be skin. Spending their money, wasting up their money, not investing in their money. But if you have that right mindset, that godly mindset, you won't even think about all that anyway. You'd be thinking about about godly things. You know what I'm trying to say? And once you think about that godly thing, God will be putting other things in your mind. He'll be giving you ways to actually invest your money in the right places, how to make more money. You know what I'm trying to say? Even though money is worldly things, but once you seek God, those things will align in itself are you moving in this in this life because I end day you're still human you know I'm trying to say we still have to live you know what I'm trying to say but once you once you see God these things will just be aligning aligning that's what I'm trying to say do not worry never worry about things but yeah um that's what I was trying to talk about today um, liberation of self and uh, seeking self and seeking God even though you really and truly sh shouldn't be you shouldn't really have to seek God because God's already in you you just have to and feel it like just just have to just have to to, to open it like open the door 
I'm trying to say, we just have to open the door for God so that God can enter because God's already there knocking. And I'm trying to say that Elohim is already there knocking. So, until next video, blessings.